okay today in this video we will discuss difference between mls means multi layer switch and router many people are saying both works at l3 then what is the difference so first of all guys both node works at layer 3 right mls can works work at layer 2 also and it can work at layer 3 also right it can perform routing as well as switching l2 forwarding as well as l3 forwarding and router only works at layer 3 router cannot work at layer 2 then you can say this is the advantage and then why i will use router everywhere i will use multi layer switch only can i use multi layer switch to connect wan wide area network answer of this question is again yes you can use but not all the switches and even mls multi layer switch is not designed to connect wan router is designed for wan connectivity definitely it works at layer 3 and if i am saying it works at layer 3 it doesn't mean that router cannot understand layer 2 it cannot understand ethernet header no router can understand l2 also but it forward traffic on the basis of l3 address means on the basis of ip address even router can understand layer 4 also port number right we can allow or block the traffic based on port number through acl you know this means router can understand l4 also layer 4 also layer 2 also mac address also every time router perform encapsulation and decapsulation for l2 header but if i will talk about the packet forwarding so packet forwarding will happen on the basis of ip address that is called layer 3 forwarding right forwarding traffic from one network to another network on the basis of network layer information layer 3 is known as l3 forwarding and forwarding traffic on the basis of mac address means l2 address is known as l2 forwarding so mls can perform l2 forwarding as well as l3 forwarding and router can only perform l3 forwarding it the purpose of designing mls is to perform routing between vlans right so mls is designed to support routing within the network inside the network between the vlan not to manage nat traffic and wan traffic and most of the mls multi layer switches are not supporting these wan technology like nat like vpn but some switches mls can support nat can support acl you can configure uh, vpn also there acl vpn nat and many mls does not support but again even if it is supporting the nat then also this device mls is not designed specifically to nat the traffic for the translation it is designed to perform routing between the vlans right and router router is designed to perform routing in the wan right router is responsible for connecting lan and wan means routers allow you to configure all wan technologies like net net netting pat you can configure any type of net vpn ipsec dm vpn right so router are basically designed to perform these kinds of task translation encapsulation in the tunnel forwarding traffic through ipsec tunnel but your mls is not designed for, to do that right so we should use mls inside the network inside the lan inside the campus not to connect wan but again same question can i use mls so yes you can use mls to connect wan also let's suppose if i will talk about very a small organization there are some department right like some employees are there first of all we need to categorize all the employees in some department later maybe we need to configure policies let's say two departments are there in the company in the small organization or in one side of a large enterprise company as few employees right and they need to categorize into some department so they can segment the network on the basis of vlan and after that the second thing is everyone should need internet access i can use mls as well to connect lan and wan 
even here i only need one mls and the internet connection i don't need any other device we can configure the policies as well right maybe i need to allow traffic from vlan 10 to 20 but we should not allow traffic from vlan 20 to 10 we can configure the policies so first at the same device we can segment the traffic after that we can apply policy and then we can make inter vlan routing and same device will allow you to access internet as well so guys if i will talk about the first difference between mls let me say mls multi layer switch and router so what i told you it is designed for designed for routing between the vlan between the vlan and router is designed for advanced routing right designed to connect lan to wan and support a variety of wan technologies mls cannot support the good thing about mls is it can perform l2 as well as l3 forwarding but it can only perform l3 forwarding right so as i told you my scenario is like here some employees are there all are connected to one mls like this let's say these two pcs belongs to different department let's say sales and these two belongs to hr so here only i can put these two interfaces in vlan 10 and these two interfaces in vlan 20 here only i can create svi for vlan 10 and for vlan 20 i can configure one ip here one ip over here right that will vlan 10 interface ip will become gateway for sales and vlan 20 interface ip will become gateway for hr and then for the internet access here i can connect internet i can make this port as l3 port i can configure one default or towards isp and i can enable nat right maybe in future when we'll connect one more side here to the internet i can configure vpn as well here maybe your switch will support vpn as well but this is not recommendation in the small organization it is fine but in the enterprises generally you will use router here right so there are some limitation of mls multi layer switch that we cannot use it everywhere so what is the difference what is the benefit of using router over here instead of using mls so guys the first difference as i told you router is designed for static and dynamic routings for advanced routings and l3 device designed for basic routings it only support l3 forwarding this mls only know that how to forward traffic on the basis of ip address differences can be you know in term of speed or performance right definitely we will have better performance on router than mls switch on the one device right if i am using nat and vpn those all things that definitely router will provide more speed good speed than mls switch so if you will ask me what is the difference between router and mls i will say mls works at both layer layer 2 and layer 3 and router works at layer 3 only router is designed for advanced routing and l3 device or mls l3 switch designed for basic routing routing between the vlans if we are going to implement nat on the mls right even most of the mls will not support the natting or vpn the wan technology but even if it is supporting it will not give the best performance right here we will have low performance there will be issue of a speed it cannot handle the natting traffic right it cannot perform the translation as like router it cannot perform translation like router router is designed to perform natting translation right so there will be some difference in term of performance performance will be better in case of router right as i told you here you will use mls if you have 
simple scenario a small network right in the small organization you need network segmentation as well as internet access and you need to apply some policies as well between multiple department then you can use mls to access internet as well but in the large enterprises company we will always use router on the uh, wan is device and even guys nowadays we are using sd wan right many of you know right so sd wan is a technology many routers like csr router isr asr supports sd wan but again mls3 cannot support sd wan technology right so even both are in use router also mls also earlier before mls became popular we were using router for inter vlan routing right you might have heard about router on a stick method nowadays we are not using router on a stick method we are using mls switch for inter vlan routing right so mls means not like it can replace the router mls cannot replace router router is designed for different purpose mls is designed for different purpose right the purpose is different right mls is only responsible for inter vlan routing or you can say internal routing through mls we will not connect two different networks two different organizations right or isp to service provider isp to customer every time we will use router only mls is only for internal routing router on a internal routing like routing between the vlans within the organization right so this is lan device last difference can be this is lan device you can say mls is lan device and router is wan device router is wan device mls is lan device so these are some basic differences between l3 switch and router guys if you don't know this how to configure this scenario like by using a single mls how i can separate the traffic how i can apply the policy and how all the users can access internet even because i am not using any router or l2 switch this switch is only performing l2 forwarding l3 forwarding l2 forwarding means when two vlan like when uh, two users in same vlan want to communicate this mls will perform l2 forwarding if two different vlan want to communicate mls will perform l3 forwarding and it will be performing natting also to translate the private ip address so if you don't know how to configure this scenario you can let me know in the comment section and i will make one video on this scenario configuration okay that's all for today this was just a basic difference between router and mls if you have learned something from this video then please hit on like button guys if you are new on the channel please subscribe this channel i will meet you soon in the next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today